Okay, two short and sweet halachot, Siman Shulchan Aruch Ramach. In this Siman we learn, Mi Chayav Ba. Who has to give tzedakah and who is deserving of accepting of tzedakah. We know it's a terrible thing. People that um, have money and then go fake it. Like a lot, some of these homeless people, they actually have Mercedes Benzes. But they just, they don't have anything to do. It's, it's uh it's also, you, have a, you need to have a Talmid Chacham as the Gabbai to see who deserves charity and prioritize. So it says, Kol Adam Chayav Liten Sadaka. Maran, Harav Bet Yosef says, everybody has to give Sadaka. And this is the very interesting part. It says, even a poor person, from the money he collects, he should also give Sadaka. Because who's the founder of Judaism? Avraham. The whole reason we were created to be a giver rather than a taker. So even if you accept donation from people, you yourself should help give tzedakah from the money that they give you. Doesn't mean you need to give 10%, obviously, but... Uh, now, if there was a bet din, the, world, why, the reason why the Jewish world is so messed up, like one of the f- most famous problems we have in the Jewish world is aguna, the women that... is because we don't have a functioning bet din. We're in Galut. But this is a crazy halakha, it says. He says, somebody that's cheap and a miser and doesn't give as much as tzedakah, right? Because if you're Jeff Bezos and you're worth $200 billion and, you, and you're making, that, let's say, a billion dollars a year, well, guess what? You have to give $100 million to tzedakah. So in the time of the Bet Din, they would force him to give his share, right? And if he wouldn't, they would actually give him shalach. They would give him lashes to the people that was being cheap and wasn't supporting. Because uh, any real Jewish community needs yeshiva, needs mikveh, needs bet Yaakov, needs uh, yeshivot. And if you have the money and you don't want to give it, then... Um, actually, they can foreclose on his properties, the bet din. And take it because um, they, they have, it's the judge, it's like, it's like the court, it's a court system. So if you need to give your fair share. If you don't give your fair share, then they can take it by force. The lochim menu, and they take mashi until, so let's say the bet din brings a CPA and whatever, and they say the guy's worth $100 million, and he's only giving $1,000 a year to charity. So if you should really give, be giving $100,000, then by force, by hook or by crook, they go and collect that money. Uh, it's unfortunate. They say uh, there was only one time that the, there was an organization that had too much money, and that was the Bet HaMikdash that they had to put shofar. It's a shame that people have uh, sometimes billions of dollars, and they just give pennies. They just don't give, uh, you know, Mr. Germezian was told my daughter, you know, you need a zechut to give tzedakah. Not everybody has the zechut to give what they need to. Right, their money goes to waste. Or um, and second halacha with this, we will finish. Mamshachin ala staka. If let's say somebody didn't give staka, the gaba is allowed to go actually by force. Like take a ver- the guy sells vases, like a ten thousand dollar vases. If the guy owes ten thousand dollars to the shul, the gaba is allowed to go take with the permission of betin, take the vase and run away. Afilu erev shabbat. So it says, I, somebody told me in the Iranian Jewish Federation in Tehran they would do this. Yeah. If somebody would, would, would uh, sometimes they would go to the bazaar, they would take like a, the guy was like a, he has expensive carpets, and he had donated a lot of money. And Joman, the Jewish Federation, said, listen, you're a millionaire, why aren't you giving? So if, the, you know, they needed to feed the orphans or they needed, they would go, the Gabbais would go with the permission of the, Betin or whatever they had there, they would take, they would fold the thing and they would run away. It's it's based on Shulchan Aruch because the community has needs and if you're and you have the means, then you need to support the community. It's a shame why people don't and they're so selfish. But in the if the betin had enough power by hook or by crook, they do have the halachic authority to take what as much as a person is his fair share.